So uh, one of the things in this report, you think that in a couple of years, Amazon's not just going to be delivering its own packages or even third-party sellers within Amazon, but packages writ large. It's, it's going to be a full-fledged logistics company? Uh, yes, sir. so based on the current pace of growth of Amazon's internal logistics arm uh, and the additional capacity that they plan to add on, uh, we believe that Amazon logistics itself will move more packages than all of FedEx in the U.S. next year, uh, all of UPS in the U.S. by 2022. Uh, and around that time frame, we believe they may have enough spare capacity to move up to 35% of all non-Amazon packages in addition to about 65% of all of Amazon's packages. So uh, we do believe uh, that starting uh, fairly soon over the next couple of years, uh, Amazon Logistics will become a full-fledged third-party competitor to UPS and FedEx. Now, why, why would Amazon want to do that? So much of what they seem to want to do is focused on their ecosystem, kind of prime, keeping that flywheel going. If they split out and start delivering things that have nothing to do with Amazon itself, what's the advantage? Uh, I actually agree with you. I think uh, the reason Amazon is doing this uh, is to keep that flywheel going, uh, is to uh, help them become uh, the best retailer in the world. Uh, it just so happens that uh, one of the ways they achieve that goal is by having the best and biggest uh, logistics network in the world. Uh, and one of the ways they enable that uh, is by moving third-party boxes, uh, which will help lower their own package costs uh, for all the packages they move as well. Uh, it's, it's a model that's not too dissimilar to what they're already doing with uh, AWS and FBA. Ravi, does this make Amazon, I mean, seemingly even more powerful and potentially even a bigger target if you're looking at something like antitrust, if they then become the largest shipper in addition to their retail operations and their cloud business with AWS? Uh, look, I mean, antitrust is a, is a very complex topic uh, with, with a lot of nuances, uh, but keep in mind that even though you know, Amazon is uh, such a large portion of e-commerce, we think Amazon will be uh, over 50% of e-commerce volumes uh, by 2022, uh, they're still uh, pretty small uh, as part of the overall number of packages shipped uh, in the U.S. Um, today. Uh, look, they will become bigger over time. Uh, they're still a relatively small part of retail. Uh, so. I don't know if and when we'll ever go there, uh, but what we do have clarity on is what the next few years looks like uh, from a competitive standpoint in the, in the parcel space. So Ravi, does this change the math for investors on shipping costs? We always see it turn up in the earnings reports. It's a minus, it's a drag, you know, they're investing in this and uh, it, it affects profitability. If they indeed scale the way you say they will and even beyond their own business, is that going to be more profitable growth and more profitable business than what they're trying to perhaps subsidize within Amazon itself? Look, I mean, the one thing that's pretty clear to us is that the end customer, you and me, uh, will probably never want to pay for shipping ever again, given that free shipping is kind of branded in everybody's brain uh, at this point. Uh, so right now it's that intermediary, intermediary retailer that's subsidizing you and me. Uh, and to the extent that uh, shipping costs actually go down uh, because you have more entities entering the space, uh, more entities uh, who are being competitive in the space, uh, that will actually save more costs uh, for those uh, shippers who are subsidizing us. I mean, I think as we move to one day delivery, as we move to more ship from store, uh, I think over time retailers will be looking to reduce their shipping costs, uh, again, because you and I uh, probably have a reluctance to pay for it. Wait, so, Ravi, I just want to understand, do you think that Amazon at some point will open up this network to others? I mean, AWS obviously famously started as an internal effort. Uh, they didn't have third-party sellers on the platform initially, obviously. It was all just Amazon sourced. Is it possible that this will become another huge business for them, not just shipping Amazon packages? Uh, yes, so our uh, vision is that uh, given the capacity Amazon Logistics is adding uh, and the number of packages Amazon ships, uh, we do think that uh, they will have the ability uh, and the willingness uh, to start moving third-party packages uh, in the next couple of years.